Okay. Uh, so, I'll give you the Terran, since I'm a good friend like that. Our Zerg player in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Uh, the pink Zerg, that is, from Clan Just X, the winners of last night's Clan War. It is Wax. And his opponent in the top left, the red Terran from Clan Beyond 11. It is Barcode. Oh, I think we butchered his name. I feel bad now. What? Did we did we butcher your name, my friend? I'm sorry. I don't know. He just gave us like a meme, like we butchered his name. It happens. I'm fucking sorry, dude. I can't read very good. That's not one of my skills. Remlef. Oh, well, yeah, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I suck at life. They never taught me I, how to read. No, that one was on me, dude. That's oh, okay. That well, awesome. come on, that Giggle. You have I know, one right? job. Fucking stupid. This is unacceptable. Um, <laughs> But no, I'm excited for this, man. I checked both players' profiles, and they both looked to be D2. Uh, because we have EU players, maybe that doesn't like represent their accurate um, league or whatever. But either way, I think we're off to some high-level uh, diamond play again. Should, you know, should be pretty fun. Uh, also, very, very standard. It looks like we have a Reaper opening on... Or, well, Reaper CC opening on one side of things. And then a uh, very standard opening on the Zerg side as well, so... Yep, for sure, man. So it's going to be a little bit before any of the action develops, but should be pretty nice to see. No cheese or anything like that coming out, so we should see pretty big armies fighting. Yeah. Uh, Thanks, guys. The Nidus is an awesome organization. Damn, look at that shout-out. I'll even sell out again. That that man is an awesome GM streamer. Go follow him. He's one of our show match players, uh, but for real, go spread some love. And then Brook Toss, nice to see you as well, dude. Um, you were in the show match or the clan war last night too. That clan war was crazy as hell, man. I remember seeing you in there. What'd you think of that shit, dude? I loved it. I thought that was one of our better ones because it's just the nonstop action. Yeah, those were really action-packed games, man, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And it was good Protoss representation, too. I mean, I know yeah. it was Sheer playing through most of them, but still, it's been kind of... The Protosses have been a little bit absent in, in yeah. some of these tournaments lately, man, so it's good to see... Because, I mean, I, you know, I want to know about that style of play, too, man, so... Yep. It's good but, to see him coming out. Yeah, in this game, nothing too crazy yet. Really standard on the Zerg side of things. No early Baning Nest, nor Evil Chamber, or anything really to kind of make us see what he's going just yet and on the Terran side of things uh, it's pretty standard as well looks like he's gearing up for just your average um, draw player or no 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 there's only yeah, one no. barracks that was my this bad is, yeah uh, this is gonna be Hellion uh, more than likely it's gonna be Hellion Cyclone we'll have to see if uh, the second factory gets built. Okay, well, actually, there's two Marines being... Okay, that's just while the factory finishes up. But yeah, man, keep your eye and see if a second factory is going to be built. I imagine it is, because he went two refinery, and so if you're going just Hellions, you can still kind of pull that off on, on one refinery. But. Yeah, no, that was a shitty call. We're just being showered with so many compliments. I just couldn't... No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, thank you guys for all the love and chat. I appreciate the kind words. Uh, someone was asking us, by the way, how many of these we're going to do. Every single month, we're going to do one EU timed tournament. It will always be the last Saturday of the month. So uh, someone mentioned maybe we should switch up our time zone and do all of our tournaments this early. I don't know. Maybe that's something we'll, we'll explore. Uh, go ahead and tell us your opinion in chat, whether you'd like us to always do our tournaments this early or keep the NA or whatever. You know, we're, we, we're pretty much always open to suggestions and stuff. Uh, but, but on a serious note, thank you guys for the kind words. It is nice to, to hear that every now and then. Uh, but in this game, though, that's a lot of lings, man. But we have some Hellions coming out, so he, he should be able to defend this for sure. But gearing up for some aggression either way, Giggle. Yeah, for sure, man. The Hellion number is increasing. It's really strange. Okay, that's why. That is the strangest thing, man. He built a tech lab on that barracks, lifted it, left it, didn't drop the second or third factory for the longest time, but we do see two more factories coming down now. Um, so it is going to be heavy mech play, and uh, the floating of the barracks, probably if, if uh, Wax is paying attention. I love that shit, dude. The barracks what, the overlord, the barracks? yeah. Like I always love it when that happens. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I don't play Terran, so I never get to do it. But every time it happens, it's just hilarious to me. They're like, "Oh, <laughs> screw this building! I don't need that shit. Let's just fly it across the map." I don't know why, but it's just hilarious to me. And taking it takes your spawning so far. To if you're going like heavy roaches or something, it's like taking your spawning pool and just being yeah. like, "Don't need this anymore." <laughs> yeah, I'll just be throwing that away. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for joining us in chat. We got a lot of new faces in here it looks like uh and more importantly we have a few players that are joining us in chat so thank you guys for playing in our tournament a lot Absolutely. of people are saying that our normal tournament is too late to play yeah i mean we we originally started as strictly in a organization and never even intended on doing this one uh but a lot of eu players told us that they'd love to play in it which is what started this but it seems like people are really really keen to this earlier time frame 
Dude, that is a lot of fucking Hellions, Google. That is, man. The third, though, not too many drones over there. Wax has done a good job of building lings when he needed to. Sometimes Zergs can get a little bit caught up, you know? Like, yeah. like I'm gonna keep droning, and then all of a sudden, all those are getting roasted. But yeah, yeah man, that's, uh, those lings are gonna be totally ineffective against this number of Hellions. That's usually me, even if I scout it. I'll be like, oh, there's 12 Hellions, so let me drone in my third, and then I just watch a barbecue go down. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that was lovely, and like, I saw it coming, too. Uh, but Wax is a much better player than me. He had a couple roaches up that were able to defend this, and, uh, he's still not too far behind in macro. I mean, he's starting to slip behind just a little bit because of that, uh, but he just got a huge run by gun so far 13 yeah. 14 man what a monster play from Wax! i missed a little bit of it because i was too busy watching his base uh but that was an insane run by man 17 scbs so far going down and it will get cleaned up but he got a full scout off saw everything he has to deal with and got 17 uh, workers for his trouble pretty good play man I would totally agree, dude. Yeah. Uh, the one thing that is nice for Barcode is that he does have um, a good amount of Hellions. Like, he didn't lose any of those Hellions, so his army is still very, very strong. He did yep. lose a lot of drones there, or SCVs there, though. And there are some roaches making their way across the map, but this what these tanks are for, man. Three of these, and if... Uh, does he have an armory to build? He does, yeah, yeah so we can that's... turn those into Hellbats. That's going to be a rough army to attack with, though. Uh, maybe if you had a lot more Ravagers and could get, get off some insane biles, but one Ravager is not going to break that amount of tanks, man. Like, I'm, I'm not a good player, but I do know that much for sure. Uh, and now another tank joining it as well. Dude, this is going to be a monster push when uh, Byun decides to do this, dude. Yeah, I totally agree. What do you think? Um, we need more Ravagers for sure, right? Like, that's immediately what I would say from Wax. Um, where is this tech going, though? I, I think he's. I think he's still trying to just get up on that third right now. Yeah. Like, dude's just trying to find some damage so that he can buy himself a little bit of time to drone up that third. Because with the third going down for, so I'm calling him Barcode. Are you calling him Beyond? Uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's his a, clan that's name. A bold so yeah, strategy. We can son. call him Barcode. <laughs> okay, fuck it. We'll call him Barcode. That works for me, dude. Uh, okay, word. As much as I want to be cast <laughs> Beyond, I mean, I I, I want to earn that, man. Okay. Um, that's but cool. yeah, there are a good number of tanks here, and the third is going down for Barcode. So he's putting him in a pretty good position. But Walks doing a good job building Ravagers that he's gonna need to siege those tank positions. Borktoss says he's always in here when we're casting. Hell yeah! Thank you for the continued support, man. That means a lot. And he said he's the guy who named Sheila. Well, I basically love you then, dude. I think that's... <laughs> Wait, is that the third map? No, nah, they picked some bullshit. We haven't seen Abyssal yet, but we will. Yeah. It'll happen. The third map on the last series. I think it got banned this one. Oh, so, so we didn't even get there. Damn it! Uh, dude, this is a huge run by there. So far, that entire mineral line getting cleaned up, and these Hellions should be able to get out of here, too. Oh man, yeah, that was uh, a, a decent run by, but a lot of Hellions were lost there. Uh, so I'm still waiting to see where he's going to head with this. We know that some Hydras are coming. Uh, I'm interested to see if there's going to be Lurkers with that or something, or what, you know, how he's going to choose to do this. I figured it was just going to be Mass Ravager to try to pop those tanks, but uh, we'll, we'll have to see, man. Ravagers can definitely be pretty damn good at breaking those down, dude. Yeah. They don't have uh, any armor or anything like that. I So... <clears throat> They can be way more effective than those roaches who just kind of... And it allows you to... You can just, like, launch biles, especially with barcodes. Look at the way his tanks are, man. If you launched, like, a couple of biles in the middle of that, like, you're pretty much laying out all those tanks. Yep, absolutely. Um, Ellen just hooked us up with a 13-viewer host. Thank you very much for that. Ellen Hype, she puts on a hell of a stream and is a beast mech player. So go yeah, give Ellen man. a follow. Uh, she absolutely destroyed me in a series we did the other day. She's won the Nidus. Like, I don't know what else to say about her. She's pretty much amazing. Plenty uh, of accolades, dude. Yeah, kind of a big deal. Comes with a pretty heavy resume. So, thank you for the host. We appreciate it. Welcome, everyone, from Ellen's stream. Uh, we're in a pretty nice TBZ so far. Uh, I'm trying yep. to catch you guys up. We've had a lot of run bys and a, a bunch of workers go down. Uh, but other than that, we're just gearing up for some pretty ridiculous mech engagements here in about an hour. No, I'm just fucking. I know. No, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Sure. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. T minus 25 yeah, minutes. No. This is going to be crazy when it finally goes down, though. This is going to be a nice engagement, man. I know, right? And it hits a point with mech where it's like, you really, I mean, Roach Hydra, you can continuously kind of engage it if you pick off small reinforcements or, yeah. or force the tanks to unsiege. But what you're really going to need is that tier three kind Fucking of Viper vi tech yeah. and a shitload of patience, dude. I was just going to say that. He, this man needs some Vipers, dude. Needs. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely. Man, so we do see some Hellions swooping around. I gotta say, I like these potential run buys. I don't know that it needs to be the entire kingdom of Hellions, yeah, but <laughs> well, it's like this is pretty dangerous. If he loses these, that's uh, a lot of 
Lepley okay. TV, thank you very much for the follow. I just wanted to call that out real quick before this engagement goes down, because it looks like they're gearing up. That was like an exploratory here scout trying to figure out if he can attack into this third. Uh, or at least that's kind of what it looked like to me. And yeah, as I say that, he's scanning as well. So he's trying to figure out where he can get in here and uh, find some damage. I'd imagine he's trying to poke before that Hive Tech happens, because ZBT becomes a hell of a lot harder when you're facing Hive Tech. So, yep, as I said, here he comes, man. This is going to be pretty nuts. I'm not sure that Wax will be able to hold this just based off the amount of tanks, but I've been wrong before. Ooh, yep. catching it like this will help out a lot with that, though, here on the move. That nasty <laughs> choke that we were talking about. Look at these Thors. I this know, right? This is why right? I shit out of dude. this map, dude. These guys are back here just having a seizure because of this stupid-ass choke point. Um... But yeah, man, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Once he starts this leapfrog of tanks, this is going to get brutal quick. Absolutely, man. Mech on this map. Like, it's pretty crazy. We'll have to see if it ends up panning out. The big oh. engagement is coming down now. The siege tank just now getting siege. We're going to get a couple of shots off. But the concave from Wax is terrific. Damn, that was a huge engagement. I was ruling him out because of the amount of tanks. But because of this crazy-ass little choke point... Uh, he was able to just kind of focus fire his way in. Uh, very well played. I'm n not sure how this is going to go now because of this stupid ass choke, but this is pretty much a perfect example of what we were talking about loading into this game and the reason why we both don't play it. How, d how do you attack into this? It's going to be hard as hell with those siege tanks. My play would be maybe tear down the rocks and try to go in from the rocks or something. Yeah, I, th I think that's the correct play here is you're going to need to open, especially a Zerg. I mean, you see Zergs doing it on maps where you don't necessarily even need to go through pathways yeah. just to make sure that if they could, they you know could go through there. So I think opening up some of those rocks, looking at alternate attack paths are really going to allow him to, to find damage because he's just not going to be able to run through that joke. Like. Yeah, and looking at production here, we have a Spire up. Uh, a Hive Tech is going to be finished here shortly. Eight Hellions are in production as well as a couple Vikings and tanks so it's about to go down oh shit it looks like he, beyond's gonna attack before that even comes in or barcode sorry we're not giving him that name <laughs> sorry dude we're not calling I you mean, beyond if it was you can be anything you want in the world but you but can't just you, yeah you the, can't just be beyond GM player like <laughs> <laughs> all right man this one thor getting a little too uh froggy man guy he got a little too far out and he got taken out by those lings Trying to clear up these rocks here. I'm not sure that this is actually a good move for Barcode, uh, as it allows Zerg to take an alternate path, man. Look at this. Uh, Tholor is asking who was the channel who hosted Rain on Ellen. That's the mech stream you should follow. She's a, a very, very good mech player. So I see mech I follow. Nice, Yeah, exactly. Man. Go follow really her. Like her she's, stream. Yeah. she's a beast. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Rain on Ellen. Critter put it in chat, yeah. Oh, I got you. I got you. No, you're good. You're good. The cell well, it's going to hit him in about a minute and a half, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, if uh, if Barcode can siege into this, he keeps planning all of his tanks at exactly the same time instead of leaving a little pack that he can bring forward. But I think eventually he should be able to push into this. Uh, there's no tier 3 tech coming out. Wox is trying to make the push for Broodlords, but they're nowhere near ready just yet. Oh, again, this crazy-ass concave, though. Damn, he's a beast at engagements, man. Cleaning up a majority of those tanks. And uh, with that focus fire, he's... Oh, okay, now they start to fall. Man, this is an absolute mech crazy engage. Yeah, mech happened, man. Tanks prevailed. And with those Thor 2s and Vipers, uh, or, well, Vipers, Vikings joining that, he now has air superiority as well. Uh, so once this third falls, I think Wax is in a bit of a rough position here. Nothing really in production, but a couple Hydras and Lynx. Uh, that won't stop this mech train coming. Man. Yeah, for sure, dude. The number of tanks that is still alive is still a critical amount. I can oh, just deal shit. insane damage. Wax is definitely his a small pack of roaches, but even still, I don't think they're going to be able to take... Oh, God. Dude, I don't think you wanted to see him. Okay, never mind. He did. Yeah, so he tried to attack into him and unfortunately lost the majority of his roaches, and now a couple more Hellions joined the fight, and the Vikings are just wailing away. Um, about to supply block the shit out of Wax, unfortunately, it looks like. Oh, or no, okay, he has a lot, but yeah, <laughs> he's I, yeah he's that was my bad. <laughs> no, I, that's funny, dude, because I wouldn't have paid attention until you highlighted it. And I, I just saw a bunch like... of them following and, and went for the swing, but it was a huge, huge miss. That was my bad, guys. Uh, but look so at this fun. siege, dude. There's nothing. Yeah. Wow, man. Fantastic engages from Locks, but it just yep. wasn't enough. That map and mech, man, go together hand in hand. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of the whole point of mech. Just kind of take whatever trades you can until you think you can overwhelm them and then just start the sieging in. And, and that's pretty much uh, exactly what happened. And because of that choke, he kind of lost the majority of his ar army there all at once. Yep, absolutely. So it looks like Cactus. Wait, which one? Cactus? <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Yep. Sorry, I played music so I couldn't hear you. You can't hear no, me. No, 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 it's fine. I was just laughing about the dude after the game. Mech can happen on a smiley face. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, dude, props to mech players, man. I don't really, I don't play that style, but I think it's so awesome. Like, they're saying the choke weird. is great for burrowed banes. That's oh, a yeah. good point. I can see that yeah, mech. that's a good point. Okay. I like that. I'll have to try that and then fail miserably and get all sad. But I'm well, going to give it a go. <laughs> like, Here's my thoughts on it, right? So, okay. like, if you just do, like, two or four, then, like, and, and you continuously remember to, like, replenish them, eventually the Terran may forget to scan them, you know? And yeah. and what's, like, two big things, you know? And if you burrow them, they don't get... I know you're an F2 master, and so am I, so don't get me wrong, but <laughs> if you burrow them, they don't get pulled with F2 and shit, you know? Like, yeah. they'll just stay there, like, pretty easy, and there isn't much of a downside to giving it a shot, you know? I'm gonna mess around with it today, man, dude. That's my goal in life. Uh, the players just need a bit of water, it looks like, or something, too. Ah, He's changing his mind. He doesn't know what he needs to drink, but he needs a drink right now. Uh, that was a good game, though, man. I would agree with Swag Syndrome. That was, that was a pretty sick game. Yeah, I totally agree, man. Uh, for a mech game, it definitely was. I mean, it took a little bit to get to that critical mass of tanks and Hellions, but, you know, once he was there, like, you know, it wasn't like a, hey, I'm going to turtle to 200, 200, you know? It was like, yeah. I'm going to push out with these Hellions and tanks and continuously kind of put the threat of hurt on uh, Zerg there. Yeah, and Wax definitely had the right idea, right? He was making his way towards Broodlords and was almost there. He could have popped him just a couple more seconds into the game. So he definitely had the right idea. It just wasn't uh, done in time, so. Yep, absolutely. Hey, by the way, I think I'm going to hit a button on my mic. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you right now. Okay, right. All right, so both players are ready, and the next map will be Cactus Valley. Uh, I enjoy this map. How about you? I uh, I enjoy any four-player map. Yeah. Yeah, I know a lot of people absolutely despise them, but I don't mind them as a player. I think they're all right. They open up for some pretty crazy games sometimes. So. You know, you know, I don't mind them. Because I was like, huh, I wonder why people mind these. Yeah, because I don't ever scout. I don't yeah. care. Like, <laughs> I can imagine people are like, four player map, it's so hard to scout them and find out if you're getting cheesed early. I'm like, eh, not on the agenda, dude. It's like that meme with that guy with his pinky finger, like, or pointing towards his head. He's like, if you never have to scout, you don't care where they are or whatever. But <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I completely I butchered the joke. That was my bad. No, I got you. The one that they use for that dark meme? Yeah, exactly. I, that shit was so funny. <laughs> All right, sorry, dark dude. <laughs> All right, so. Our pink Zerg player in the bottom right hand corner of the map coming at us from Clan X Just X, it is Wax. Uh, currently down one point, but definitely has the ability to do this. And his opponent currently up one game after his uh, mech win in Paladino, I think. Wow, shouldn't go into that detail when I'm doing intros. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, the Teal Terran from Beyond 11, it is Barcode. The time was 5.02 p.m. The date's I January 15th. Nah, I'm just fucking around with you, Giggle, but yeah, no. Uh, let's see what this game goes, though. Uh, I'm kind of that Zerg player where when I know someone's going mech, I kind of scramble and throw away a mass amount of units at the beginning, trying to never let it come to that. Uh, so we'll have to see if Wax puts on that early aggression to prevent that, or if he's comfortable playing against mech. Some players don't really care if, if they know it's coming, you know, so. Yeah, for sure, man. I think, I he's don't know. He's going to switch it up and go bio. Ah! You think so? He just dropped oh, he the is. second. Yeah, yeah he just dropped Reaper, the second dude. barracks, dude. Oh, shit. More than likely, three racks Reaper. We'll have to wait for that third racks to, to come down to confirm it, but, man, this can be absolutely deadly on this map. Yeah, um, so Wax has his cooldown, but... He took that early hatch, man. I don't know. We're going to have to see if that third Rax comes down. It's going to pose an issue. Oh, Indeed. Okay, shit. so he's going to go for a uh, reactor instead of a third Rax there. So you still, I think, get three Rax Reaper production, but it's off two Rax, which is interesting. Yeah. And... We'll have to see. Watch. He's going to start building Marines. We're just going to be wrong <laughs> in general and whatever. It's but... like nothing but Marines, guys. Let's do this. I know, right? Actually, it very well may be that, or he may just be opening two racks here uh, with a CC actually behind it. Yeah, so we're going to see a tech lab and a reactor. This is just a two racks expand, which is actually pretty interesting, man. I haven't seen this in TVZ, at least in the games that we've casted, in a while. Yeah, this this is a new one for me in quite a while as well, dude. If I've ever even seen this, that's a pretty interesting build, but I don't think it's uh, too far off or anything. He might be able to clinch it off, so... Yep, absolutely, man. I think this is just making sure that he's super safe in case any sort of Zerg rush. This Overlord from Wax getting that uh, early scout off. I believe yeah. it was where he sent his first one. So a nice little break there for him. That's always nice as Zerg. Uh, sure should I joining us in chat. That's our admin today. Thank you very much for your help. And everyone go give him a follow if you want to. Dude puts on a really awesome Protoss stream. Not too many Protoss around these days if you believe the memes. So uh, he's definitely worth the follow. And thank you very much, Sheer, for helping us out tonight. 
Also, if you want to go ahead and grab up a round three and put it on reserve so we could have no downtime, that would be amazing. I know, What's right? not the amazing, cyborg, though, man. it's Obi that just got picked off. That's unfortunate. Now there's a bit of a supply box for walks. Not the end of the world, but I, I always hate it when my Obi gets picked off. Indeed, man. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's good when you get a good scout off on it. It can definitely be worth it. But when it dies kind of on its way to go scouting, that can always be frustrating. Yeah. Um, we don't see a third down from walks or anything like that. Uh, looks like a baneling nest is coming. So this very well may be with the number of lings, you know, starting to get up there. This could be a big baneling bus. I told you, man. Like, he, he knows he's not going mech now. But if that was your original decision, that would have been my idea, too. Like, screw that. I'm not letting it come to that, dude. I'm going to pop it. Uh, yeah. So hopefully it comes to that and we get a game number three, man. I, I don't mind saying it. I want a game three. But yeah, as you said, man, that's a, that's quite a few links, dude. That it is, man. How many of them get turned into banelings once that baneling nest is finished? And it already actually is. So and does be know about this or sorry, no, your barcode. <laughs> no, no. So I mean, this with the number of marines that he has right now, dude, this could be absolutely deadly, especially here. Oh, his gate's now. down. Close your gate, man. No. And now he could. Okay, well, it doesn't, I guess it doesn't... Oh, man, he opened it back up. There's only a couple links that even survived uh, the onslaught, but there are a lot more coming in behind that. As I said, man, he was looking to end this early, and with these Banes, he'll be able to pop through and take this game, man. I, I hate to call it out over, but this shit's over, man. Yep, absolutely. There it is. All right, so GG is called, and we will get our game number three. Pretty hyped, man. What map is it going to be, Mr. Giggle? It is... Newkirk. Newkirk. All right. Kirk. He's like, wow, all right, you want a cheese? I'll show you some cheese. Three racks reaper time. That was very well played, dude. Um, and the build that Barco did was, I mean, t you're opening those two racks so that you can be just a little bit safer, you know? Yeah. Um, and he just didn't, I don't think, quite had the right read on it. Yeah, that was he got that stem started so early, dude. I guess that's the huge advantage to that build. But Yep. All right, so both players will ready up, and we will hop into map number three. Whoever wins this moves on. Whoever loses is out, so no pressure or anything. Um, yeah, pretty excited to see what this map brings, man. Newkirk always provides some pretty crazy games, especially in the ZBT matchup. So, yeah. Wax doesn't bane Ling Rust. He kills your Marines and laughs. <laughs> Oh, man, we got a bunch of Clan X Just X fellas joining us here in chat. Man, those guys are always rooting for uh, their team. So, indeed. Alrighty, man. Game number three. All right. So, our Red Terran player in the bottom right-hand corner of the map, coming at us from Clan Beyond. It is Barcode. See what I did there? I did. Yeah. And his opponent in the bottom left, the Pink Zerg from Clan X Just X. It is Wax. Nice. Oh, yeah, dude. Keep it simple. Don't go into details. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll have to see if any cheese comes out or anything. Does he need to pause? Uh, Yeah, you can tell him they need to pause if, you, if you'd like to. I'm okay with it. I'll allow it. And all right, now he's just going to fight through it. What a beast. Yeah. Uh, I guess because he's EU, we could have went to East Coast, but I forgot to do our little announcement beforehand. Shit, I knew we were missing something. We said we were going to announce it beforehand, but... Game pause. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, if you guys need us to play on the East Coast, or not, yeah, the East Coast or the West Coast, let us know. We're not going to go to EU or anything because it takes so long to switch back and forth between regions. Uh, but we have no problem going to West Coast if you're in Australia or East Coast if you're in EU. But you obviously need to let us know in the lobby because we have, you know, we have no idea of knowing unless you tell us. So, Indeed. Indeed. Indeed, man. So it looks like we're just uh, just chilling on this pause set. Wow, that's a lot of ping, man. You don't want to be playing StarCraft with that. Shit. Game nope. Resumed. Wow, he's like, I don't care, man. I'll play you with 700 ping, dude. That's pretty beast, <laughs> but we'll have to see how that goes, man. It can get pretty hard against drops and stuff, but... Yeah. 
Maybe, maybe he just goes for another bailing bust. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a build that you can do with decent amount of ping. Yeah, absolutely. If you're gonna have a disadvantage, you might as well play to it. So I wouldn't fault him at all if he just tries to do an extremely early pop here again. I don't even like playing with 200 ms, so I sure as hell wouldn't be trying to play with no 700. Uh, and I do know that he's Norwegian, so we perhaps should have put him on the East Coast server. But as I said, if we don't know in lobby, we we can't just guess that type of information. So yeah. It's all good, though. I mean, I think it's pretty cool that he was willing to play through it, you know, so. Uh, that's pretty cool. On the turn side of things, we have a Reaper expand. Nothing too crazy. On the Zerg side of things, it's pretty standard as well. I was wondering if it was uh, because it was a game three and people were going to get cheesy, but nothing nothing too crazy. Yeah, man. Cheese on game three when it's tied. That's you got some serious balls. <laughs> like, you're just like, all right, man. Like, I, uh, I don't dice. care if I win. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we got this Reaper coming across the map here now. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we do see an in base CC coming out of barcode. So wants to be pretty safe there. Wants to make sure that no early links come across and stop that. With the two uh, refineries, I imagine we're probably going to see that mech build again. I wonder if he's yeah. going to wait for forever to drop those uh, second factories again. Man, that felt like it took forever that last time. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see, man. Um, you're right, though, about the gas. That is kind of... Leaning towards that, though, we'll have to see. Um, the factory comes down. If he makes another one, that'll guarantee it. But so far, nothing just yet. Only one coming in. So he is scouting, too. So maybe he's waiting to make his decision based off of what this Reaper pokes in here and sees. So. Yeah, man. You can see the bunker going down as well at the uh, main ramp. So he's feeling, you know, pretty scared by something here. Uh, I don't know if it's just that he has, the, you know, the number of drones that were at the natural. If, but, I mean we know that it's it's drones in production you know it's not something that he knows yeah absolutely and the factory gets a tech lab too so i just don't know anymore dude no i'm just kidding so yeah there's a star <laughs> my whole is, world yeah like what <laughs> what even is this dude it's a one 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 of sorts but i don't know dude i'm zerg Ooh, i nice don't know tanks. on this side of map though this is like the most d okay so yeah oh my god dude you're gonna want to wall your shit off <laughs> all right there we go <laughs> like Got a little panicky here, but I love it, man. With this, the barracks flying off, we know for sure. These ling is preventing the CC from going down, so that's yeah. always really a thing. Yeah, it always feels yeah. great to do as a Zerg player to prevent this, even if it's only for a few. He will lose all of his lings to do so, though. Okay, a couple of them make it out to tell the tale. Uh, but yeah, I do like this again, man. We get our Overseer barracks, dude, or Overlord barracks. It's pretty hilarious, dude. Uh, but yeah, he's in full-blown mech now. We kind of knew it was coming based off that early gas. That was a great call from Giggle Bear. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good call. This is a pretty decent map for it. You can get seized up there on the lower ground right in front of that third and defend, like, you know, three of your bases with one tank pretty much, so. Absolutely, dude. Um, and with this one tank coming out and some Hellions, actually, too. Um, I mean, he's just going to get himself all buttoned up. Almost guaranteed two base here for Terran, but good response by Wax. Recognizing that and just grabbing that third and being like, hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, try and out drone you here. We do see two gases coming down at the natural from Wax, so he's going to look to you know drop some additional tech in a bit here. Yeah, and he starts plus one melee as well as carapace too. So it looks like he's just going to try to bust him again, man. We kind of were laughing about whether or not it was going to come, and that looks like it is. So. I know, right? We'll have to see. Yeah, especially with the plus one, plus one, man. I imagine this is going to be a little bit later of a bust, but, you know, probably that third base is likely going to be used for just larva. Yep. We'll have to see. We'll have to stay tuned. Whoa, is the stream really far behind for you, or is it timed right? No, it's really far behind. It's been really far behind. Oh, wow. I wonder why that is. Hmm. I know, because this, this game is just starting. and we're fi It's five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy to me. Man. Yeah. Watch, I put like 900 seconds instead of 90 seconds. No. <laughs> hey, like $420 hey, 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 donation. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, man, I'll have to take a look at that, dude. That's pretty crazy. But Yeah, for sure. I just yeah, noticed how far behind it was, dude. I had kind of been seeing it, and I was like, just calculating exactly how far behind it was. It wasn't until that game started, and I looked at the clock in this game that I realized it was exactly five minutes behind. Like, holy wow. Okay, so, hmm. How do we amend that? Uh, I guess just once we get out of this game, check the stream delay, and then if it's nothing with the stream delay, there's nothing we can do. Works. I think it's just the broadcast time to Twitch. Works for me. As long as it doesn't buffer out trying to hold too much info and drop the stream, I'd be really sad. If it does, we'll just pause the game, though, I guess. So Yeah. Indeed, man. But yeah, sorry if we've been a little bit delayed in our responses to the stream for whatever reason. I think it's been like this for most of it, but that would kind of explain why we're a little bit lagging behind on chat conversations. Yep. 
Absolutely. So we will switch that up as soon as this game is over. We'll address that. Maybe at most we'll have to take like a five minute break and just let this uh, streamer run out and then restart the broadcast. No big deal. Uh, there's some pretty heavy pressure coming in from Barcode here with these tanks and these Hellions. This is a pretty nasty push. And there's oh. not. Oh. Sorry. No, the, the Hellions the are almost a painless. Yeah, yeah word. Because Hellions, man, they are light units. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, so we'll have to see, man. I think as well as his Hellions, he has the speed. So we'll have to check it out. Oh, man. Very well played by Wax. Get yeah. us around on those tanks, man. Transfusing the Queens. Keep those alive. And that is an expensive mech army that just died. He's always a monster with his engagements, man. He always gets that surround and just takes really good trades. Uh, Wax, that is. So. Yep. Uh, yeah, so checking out the production behind this, the Spire is about to finish up for Wax. And on the Terran side of things, we have a bunch more factories coming in. Three of them about to finish up. So, I think. Crazy. Yeah, I think the uh, Muta Switch is a particularly good choice here because if you think about it, uh, a lot of those, you know, all of the siege tanks and, and the Hellion number got reset. If you were able to keep those and bring those back home, you have, you know, uh, more tanks. So you can make your way more, like, quicker into Thors uh, or Starport, you know, Vikings and stuff like that to help you against the Mutas. But at this point, uh, Barcode is forced to have to rebuild his tank, you know, use his factories to rebuild his tank count, his resources to build up Hellions and stuff like that. And not, he, he may not be ready. None of those units shoot up. So he may not be ready by the time these Mutas hit. Yeah. So a lot of mutas are coming over. Let me check the unit count. There's nine of them already out and three more in production. So as you said, if he can get over here and find a little bit of damage, uh, he might be in a much better position. He's not out of it, though. The work, at least he's staying in work account. It's 50 uh, drones to 47 SCVs. But this mech army is about to be ridiculous, man. How many factories is that? Holy shit. It's a lot, Seven. man. But yeah, I mean, like, none, of, none of that stuff shoots up. And these yeah. mutas are just going to get go to town until some Thors come out. Like, turrets are great. But this is this army is gonna get shut down by Mutas, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely. And he's already starting to just tear through this very, very gas expensive army. He actually switches it up and goes for the supply depot, uh, trying to get those lings in. They might fall to these tanks as long as uh, Barcode can get them planted here. Oh, I like for this sure. play, going for the tech labs. This is how every single one of my mech games plays out. I'm like, nice. I see everybody go tanks, and I'm gonna get some <laughs> blue flame, and I totally forget about things that shoot up and. Oh. <laughs> This whole situation happens to me. You can see the tech labs, and now he panic can't. Thors. Yeah, he can't even make Thors though anymore because. Oh, oh god! He's got one. Can he repair it? Thors are amazing as far as oh, he's shooting his own factory. All right, there he goes. Yep. So we got one Thor versus a lot of mutas, man, and it does have a posse of SCVs that'll be able to repair it, as Gibble said. Uh, but I don't know, man. I don't know. That is a lot of mutas, dude. And they're still trying to come in here and find a lot of damage. These stores are preventing them from attacking into the mineral line, but they already did a lot of work. They picked off a majority of the tech labs and a lot of those tanks, too. So I would say very well played from Watts. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. The, the fact that there are two or maybe three Thors out now, these mutas, if they're clumped up, could take serious damage. The splash damage from Thors, two mutas is insane after they patched it. Um, but he just doesn't have, you know, he's got a good number of Hellions. Okay, the tanks, he's, what does he have, four of those that survived? Yeah. So he's, he's got a decent mech army, man. I think it would be in his best interest to probably move across the map and try and find some damage right now. Yeah, I think he might be able to find some. A couple of Thors, as you said, will wipe out that mute account, and those tanks are looking pretty good as well. Maybe if he just repairs them up. Uh, these Hellions are kind of getting caught across the middle of the map and getting taken out. Uh, also, we just got a $4.20 donation, Kappa, from Hypu. Thank you very much, man. That is our all-time top donator there. So thank you very much for that. It is, it is much appreciated. On top of that, we also got a host. So thank you very much for the host. Uh, FSL just hosted us. Man, that's awesome. Thank you, guys. Nice, dude. Yeah. Thank you guys very much, and welcome to all those viewers, man. Uh, yep. I've got Mecha versus Muta right now is where we're currently at with this game. Oh, shit. What's up? Jackal hit us with the $4.20 donation cap. Thank you very much, guys. It is very much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, these Hellions are hitting this link. <laughs> these uh, drones with the barbecue donation, unfortunately, man. Four of them going down so far. I tried to make a better joke, but that's all you guys got. It's hard with that donation sound going off in my ear. Uh, but I, I like this Roach call, especially if you can get a couple Ravagers coming in. Uh, but look at the Thor count, dude. That's, that's starting to look a little crazy, man. Thor is here. Yeah, Indeed, like man. the Thor has been here quite a few times so far. This is going to yeah. become a problem. So, 
Absolutely, dude. Uh, these Hellbats one. coming out now. I imagine these tanks are probably going to unsiege. Now may be the time for uh, Barco to go across the map. Uh, those Mutas could easily be taken out by a couple of Thor volleys. Um, and we don't see, I don't believe, a third down for Barcode. So yeah. you know, he's kind of on a timer a little bit here. Yeah, he's going to try to just make it happen with what he has. Uh, the third CC is being finished up, so he can get it flown over there and just kind of siege up and take that. Uh, so he's not out of it by any means. But Wax is starting to tear ahead in the economy. It's 64 workers to 46. Um, so, you know, he has that going for him for sure. I just don't know how he's going to be able to attack into this mech army, dude. That's looking pretty nasty. Yeah, for sure, man. These meters are going to fly around and see exactly the extent of the mech here, which could be, you know, uh, pretty scary to see. They're going to go ahead and get to work, but oh, man, don't clip up, please. No! Oh, dude, that's what I'm talking this about. Last like, damage. Jesus, dude. Uh-huh. One, one wrong kind of clump mistake, man, and those yeah. all get wiped out. Yeah, that was crazy, man. Uh, so he did have the ability to pull them back and saved a lot of them from death, but geez, they got close. The majority of them are sub-20, 30 health. Uh, so that was a huge shot there. At least he knows now that that's not going to happen again. Uh, so uh, I'm going to be interested to see what he chooses as his high pr uh, production. Indeed, man. Willie XXZ, thank you very much for the follow. And once again, thank you for the host. Yeah. Uh, we see that mech army moving out across the map right now. That is gigantic. These mutas trying to work on some supply depots. But I think honestly, um, well, I don't know. They're not going to be able to fight this army all that much. Nothing's yeah. going to really be able to fight yeah, this exactly. army all that much. Like <laughs> How do you fight that shit? Holy cow. And I'm not even trying to balance wine, but literally, what, you need brutes there, minimum. Maybe some infet, like, fuck, dude. I don't know what the call is there. I, I really don't. That is starting to look ridiculous. Man, here we go. Oh, those banelings are not enough. And honestly, with the tank sieging and the Thors as the backbone for the army, this third base is surely going to die. Yeah, absolutely. So Watch just doesn't really have anything that can really attack into that. There's like eight ta tanks already sieged up. Oh, sorry, I miscounted. Ten tanks, rather. And then with the added amount of Thors, too, this is just basically an unengageable army. He does have a bunch of Corruptors coming out, so hopefully he can get some Broods coming. But I, I think it's still a little bit too late, unfortunately. So... Uh, yeah, I guess we have a huge delay and we just got a gigantic host. I tried to call it out. It came from Judo uh, TV. Sorry, I, I know I probably butchered your name. Oh my God. Holy shit, the Mutas, no! Oh, no. Indeed, man, they got carved up. That was an unfortunate uh, engagement. And like that, Barcode will advance into our next round.